Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Gunpla Network News. As always, I'm your host, The Spicer, and today's episode of the news is of course brought to you by Canadian Gundam. Canadian Gundam is your one-stop shop for all things Gunpla and Plamo here in North America. When you're checking their vast catalog to place your next order, don't forget to use the promo code GUMPLA NETWORK to save yourself 10% off. Starting off with the first episode of news in 2023, and we have a lot of Witch for Mercury, as you would expect, with the second part coming out in April. So, starting off, we have the High Grade 1144th Tick Blong release date info, with the release date being February 2023 and a price tag of 1,430 Japanese yen. This seems to be the stand-in for the base jabber for the Witch for Mercury series. I don't recall seeing it at any point in the first portion or the first part or the first core of Witch for Mercury, so this is something we'll definitely be seeing as we move into the second portion and see, I assume, more in atmosphere fighting where it's a little bit more necessary. So, very interesting here. I'm glad this came out. It does have a few gimmicks as far as moving parts, but it's a base jabber. It's going to be pretty solid with not a lot going on, but it's cool that it's coming out. We also have the high-grade 1144 scale Zawart with a release date of February 2023 and a price tag of 1,760 Japanese yen. This is the mass production unit from the Pale Group, so the same group that developed the Feract Gundam. We see a little bit of this in the first core, but we don't really see it in coordination with the Tick Blong, the base jabber. So we're probably going to see a lot of these in the future. This seems to be a slightly different coloration, uh, kind of more of like an olive green or very, very pale green that uh, we didn't see in the show. So. Whether it's a different type or it's just that color doesn't translate to plastic quite as well, it's hard to say, but we do get this grunt suit here. Speaking of grunt suits, we have the high grade 1144 scale Hindry with a release date of February 2023 and a price tag of 1,760 Japanese yen. And this looks to be based off of the Michaelis, but a more ground type variant of it. it has a different backpack, a more teal blue color, a gun sword type situation with a couple of round small shields. It's cool that we're getting all of these kind of derivatives of these different mobile suits we saw in part one. This looks to be from the art we're seeing on the box in a desert. So maybe we are going to see some in atmosphere stuff, or maybe that's just a digital representation of kind of stuff we saw in the school. Hard to say, but it is cool that they have all these different versions of these different mobile suits. And of course, we wouldn't be able to get through this without a version of the Ariel coming out with the high grade 1144 scale Ariel Rebuild with a release date of March 2023 and a price tag of 1,870 Japanese yen. I'm not sure if they're going to stick with the rebuild name because that doesn't that doesn't really have a cool ring to it. Uh, but it is what it is. This is the new version of the aerial that we saw at the end of Core 1. So this is going to be the main version for Core 2. Uh, largely a white and blue aesthetic. It's got the little thrusters hanging off the back with the little yellow fins that pop out. And we can see that in the model kit's promotional art. You can see the little tab that you'll push to flip those up. You have the shield, a bigger gun, and... That's kind of it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a different version of the aerial, but it still has kind of all the same gimmicks the original aerial did. So uh, it's just an upgrade. We also have the high grade 1144 scale RX 7702 gun cannon Doan's Island version with a release date of May 2023 and a price tag of 2530 Japanese yen. And this is the Doan's Island version of the gun tank, much like we saw with the Gundam, the Zaku, and the GM before it. Has some different choices as far as the design goes from like your regular or your Origins version of the gun cannon. Unique enough that I guess it warrants its own version of it, but it does fit the aesthetic. So if you have those other ones, this is very much in the same vein. We also have the P-Bandai High Grade Future Century 1144 scale Rose Gundam with a release date of February 2023 and a price tag of 2,915 Japanese yen. 
This is the first other member of the Shuffle Alliance outside of the Shining Gundam that we've got in this kind of upgraded line of Future Century kits. It's one I've been wanting for a long time. I'm a little sad that it's P Bandai, but it is what it is. You do get four rose bits with some thrust effect parts that plug into the actual like big cape portion on the left arm. You get the beam sword and it comes with a clear blue stand and a couple of other beam effect parts. So pretty cool that we're seeing this. I really hope the rest of the Shuffle Alliance isn't P Bandai, but uh, who knows? Maybe these will be at least produced at higher numbers if if things go well, but I'm really glad that the Rose Gundam is getting a high-grade version. We also have the P-Bandai high-grade 1144 scale full armor Gundam with a release date of February 2023 and a price tag of 3,300 Japanese yen. And this is kind of the olive drab green color full armor Gundam. So if you've looked at any of the full armor designs, you kind of know what you're getting. You have the big double beam cannon over on the right arm, you have the over-the-shoulder cannon. It's in that kind of olive drab green color with orange and red accents with the rest of the body being made up kind of like a cream white color. So it's a cool design. It's full armor. You kind of know what you're getting yourself into. I know there's a lot of weird variants of full armor high grades. I think there's like an Origins version and then there's like a other another side thing from that. But regardless, the kind of classic full armor design is here. We also have the P Bandai High Grade 1144 Scale High Mobility Surface Type Zaku Egg Book Custom with a release date of April 2023 and a price tag of 2,970 Japanese yen. And this is your kind of high, this is your ground type Zaku color scheme, the kind of desert camo. Uh, you have a heat sword, you have the high mobility legs and all of that. Uh, you have the commander fin up there. So it is a different enough version of a Zaku that doesn't feel like they're just fully reprinting Zaku's. Uh, and you do get some cool different accessories, uh, but it is a high mobility type Zaku, so <laughs> you know what you're getting yourself into. And lastly, we have the P Bandai Real Grade 1144 scale Destiny Impulse Gundam with a release date of April 2023 and a price tag of 4,730 Japanese yen. This is the Impulse Destiny, so this is the Destiny backpack equipment effectively added to the Impulse with kind of a purpley pink color scheme. I believe there's a master grade of this already in existence, so it its design exists in Gumpla form, and they probably did the same thing they did with the real grade Impulse, shrunk it down, mini master grade style. But instead of having one big cannon and one sword like the Destiny, you get two of the big anti-ship beam swords and two big cannons that fold over the shoulder. So even if you have the real grade impulse, this is different enough in terms of accessories and backpack and effect parts that uh, it's not the same thing. You're rebuilding a lot of the main body, of course, but your backpack, your weapons, all your effects are going to be totally different. But that has been it for us this week. Let us know what you're most excited to see. Is it any of the P Bandai stuff or the uh, Witch for Mercury stuff? Because that's kind of how it was divided this week. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, do your best to stay safe and keep on building.